Risa ako na? Okay. Oh, okay. We'll na. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Don't okay, worry. again. Uh, okay. Again, thank you for this day that we are here again to for the message, Pastor. Thank you so much because uh, we are again blessed for for the word of God that you have shared us. So what I understood from the message for today is that uh, I'll just make it short. So the wilderness or the wilderness that we are that the Israelite went through before uh, is considered our training now. Okay, so training that God prepared for us. So we know that uh, nowadays we have so many, really, Pastor, there are so many conflicts that we are facing. Um, so these are all considered training. But then if we are going to understand it better, we have to... Um, understand it that it was really prepared and given by God for us to figure out what he wants us to do and then so what we should do is that we have to uh, look and understand at spiritual reality through only the gospel it should not be our own reality. So, in the midst of this training or hardships, we should always remember that the only solution is God being with us. Only if we understand the spiritual reality. Mm -hmm. uh, so, as we have read from the uh, scripture today, scriptures today, which is... It, Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 um, we should not worry we should not be anxious uh, with the problems we have right now but instead we should look at the problem we should we should um, consider it as blessings or we should uh, see something from the problems as blessings so, so and from that problem from that uh, problems that we have we should have make we should make our prayer topic through the problems mm -hmm. so that mm, uh, God uh, we should and we also have to hold Hold unto the covenant that God uh, makes the problem uh, for us to accept the spiritual reality. We are, like you said, Pastor, we are worthy to possess problems. To be vessel, to be a vessel, mm -hmm. to to share or to help others through the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's all, Pastor. Thank you. Amen. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Who will be the next? Maybe in Korea? Hannah? Can you share? Yes. Okay, Pastor. Okay. Very short. Okay. I am thankful mm -hmm. to God because it is another message from God. Pastor, thank you for your for your for your because you are here. Even I we are know that you are so busy, but you have time for us to deliver the message. Thank you. No, Thank don't worry about it. This is my work, so 
Yes, then uh, today, my forum today, it is clear to me. I am thankful to God because it is, uh, it is remind and uh, remind me that He is only solution to all problems, even we have so hardship. Then it is clear to me that all the, the problems comes to me and hardship. And so, so this is only, this is only training. This is only training for me that, uh, that it is, um, it is training to, 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 it is training for me that we are here in Korea and I, 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 I am, I am going to Hana Church then it, yeah, all, all, uh, <laughs> that, sorry. So all of that, uh, yes, all of, all, all of, I, uh, sorry, all of the problems come to me and the hardship, it is uh, training, right, Pastor? Then it is training for me because I like to, I like, uh, I like to share this, uh, this, and I, I like to, one of the witness of God that I can share to my family and to my country that, uh, that, that, that only gospel I can share um, for them. Then this is a this uh, for me. Uh, I am in a process process on the process uh, as a as a remnant pastor. So mm -hmm. so now I know this is uh, what sometimes so hard, but I know now that it it is training only training for me. Even sometimes so hard, but always remember. I always remember that only God is solution for for my for my problems and and all is uh, God is all of uh, all of that is uh, God have uh, have plan for me. So I am holding on to the covenant that. Jesus is only Jesus is the Christ and His only solution. And I, uh, God is always with me, even what happen, even a uh, problem comes to me. Then I always I am always remembered. Then I, I I always remember that is God is always with me, and I believe that. Then through God is I have I have peace and. And rest through God. I uh, only I I surrender all my problems to to Him. So mm -hmm. that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you for the forum. Okay. Woody, Woody. Uh. Uh, Genesis, are you there? Hello, Genesis. Can you unmute? Okay. Hello, Master. Hi, Genesis. <laughs> yeah, this is your turn. Is it my turn now? Yeah. Ah. You've been silent for a long time. Um, first, Pastor, I would like to apologize because I wasn't, I was, mm -hmm. yes, I was absent for two weeks because I had to mm -hmm. uh, attend my classes. Mm -hmm. But now we don't have uh, mm -hmm. a meeting. We, but I have a module, but I have the time for you, this. Um, okay. This message was very timely again, <laughs> it, it challenged the new conflicts. This story about uh, in the Old Testament, 
about the Israelites going out of Egypt was one of my favorite uh, stories since I was a kid. I was reading it um, over and over again and every time I read it, um, something, uh, there are different things. I learn different things from it every time I read it again and again. Mm -hmm. But this message, uh, this day, opened uh, my eyes to a different perspective about this, uh, that the process uh, were in that that the the process that the Israelites have undergone before they went to Canaan before they arrived to Canaan was a tough one because uh, they need to go through the wilderness for years and and after that they fought many wars uh, until they uh, went to Canaan mm -hmm. and as to what you have said pastor that this wilderness the, the wilderness uh, they, they is telling our conflicts that we are going through now is mm -hmm. is our training and I and you said also, Pastor, that we will not, uh, we, we are not, if we are not God's vessel, then we are not, um, we, we should not be ex experiencing this in the first place. So that means we are God's vessels. That's why we are experiencing this. We are under a training for a bigger purpose. Um, here in the Philippines, we we are in a very great uh, um, traumatizing um, conflict. We're in. It seems that our government, our the Department of Education and the CHED, which uh, the Commission on Higher Education, catering our college uh, universities, um, seems to not to care about the. Uh, mental and psychological um, state of the students and it is very it is very uh, I am very saddened by the fact that um, some students already commit suicide because of this uh, traumatizing experience and sometimes I say um, for me, I can say I can I can do it because I have Christ. But what what about those without Christ? And and there's no one else to have. There's no one who are who is able to help them. Mm -hmm. So I am accepting this challenge mm -hmm. uh, of this training. Mm -hmm. Because I know that God has a bigger purpose. God has pre God is preparing us for a bigger purpose for us to accomplish. That's all. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. So I hope Genesis, you can become uh, the vessel to relay the gospel, the Christ, to those who need the help, spiritual help, as you shared. All right, who's the last? Risa? Yes, Pastor, I am. Uh, All right. So today, uh, today, it is by God's grace that um, we are gathered and um, the message that God has uh, delivered today through Pastor is um, the message that will make us truly understand our situations today. Because um, as the the what is this the forums of Atele and Genesis and Hannah, we are really inside <laughs> inside conflicts, mm -hmm. challenges, 
And I believe it is every day until we die. I think we are um, always in this um, challenges. That's why we are so blessed that um, as early as today, we have received the message correctly and understand our situation as early as today. Because um, from this moment, we will have the, uh, what is this, the correct, mm, the correct, uh, what is this, understanding and approach that we can, yeah, we can use, the approach that we can use to really, uh, what is this, be, be, become victorious in this, um, every challenges that we have in this um, present in pre in the present mm -hmm. and uh today um to challenge truly the new conflicts in our lives after becoming so we have i understand that i have all those com conflicts in my life before i truly accepted i truly um, understood that the gospel and after that i under understood the gospel um like yes for so many yeah i i also was like that um my thoughts was also the same like from the story um after i become i i truly i know i have truly known christ um that thought came also to me that okay so this will all become well already <laughs> like no more like uh what is this maybe everything will be light and yes all happy and like that but uh actually um conflicts keep coming and challenges keeps coming mm -hmm. so um uh what is this satan satan is really uh doing his job um dece deceiving deceiving me as a believer um so so i believe um uh what is um the problem the problem here is uh, actually not the conflicts or the, the uh, challenges that i'm having but uh it is um the unbelief the unbelief uh i have understood also the spiritual reality so the moment i fall into unbelief that's the that's the beginning of um what is this having hardships in every challenges and every conflicts but but um if it is the spiritual reality that i focus on then the my present or my reality actually is all already done it's already done so mm -hmm. i pray really that um I become truly the disciple that can witness, that can witness on living every day um, uh, in this training, in the conflicts, in the challenges. Um, it truly, may I, may I truly um, hold on to God's word and be able to really meditate on the message, on his message, like truly talk to myself yeah like what is this? i need to talk to myself about what is happening to me what is the message that god is giving me and really um be able to meditate on like be able to correctly communicate to god about um about this present my present um situation and challenges and i believe um I believe and, and, I, and, and I understand today that I am a vessel, really, I, a vessel that will be used by God to truly save, save everyone um, that is uh, passing my experiences today also. 
I believe um, God will um, use me to uh, to give the correct answer to the people um, to the people that are uh, what is this under this um, situation that I am like I am in right now. So uh, I believe that. I can challenge every conflict really in faith really and I believe that faith is becoming deeper and deeper and every unbelief is um, done <laughs> done so that's all today, <laughs> thank you thank you right it is true say all the conflicts that we are undergoing right now is the uh the thing that we will share the, the the testimonies that we share with the people in the future maybe uh those people who, who whom we will save okay um you know what sisters to confess that i believe in god when you have no problems that is easy, right? Everyone can say so. I believe in God if you have any, any problem. I'm happy in God, right? But if you are in the conflicts and problems, can you confess I am happy in God? I am uh, content with God. It's not very easy for us to confess like this, right? But those who can confess that Jesus is the Christ, in the in times of conflicts they are those one who possess the the true faith right you know if you want to examine a, a good horse if you want to examine the good the very the best whole horse you need to run with them right if you go further and further then you can or recognize you can figure out that oh this is a good horse but if you if you don't run you cannot examine if it is a good horse or not right that's the same god is training you you sisters to the point that you become the witness to share your testimony that god was with me jesus is the christ through all the problems that i been through that's the process that you shared today okay all right sisters thank you so much for today